What's good, everybody, and welcome back. <laughs> welcome back to the Lockout Man Podcast Show. <laughs> the coolest podcast on the tube. That's what's up. What's up? Welcome, welcome. Thank you guys for watching and hitting that play button. Today, we are here with another truckers reaction video and in this video comes by way of my guy night trainer extraordinaire d fucking nitty what's going on let me get a bomb drop for d nitty that's what's up my man sent this video over to me and he was like look lock out your boy over over at the other channel you know he did something to, you know he did something on this video and i was like yo boy i was like who he was like my man asian my can i get a bomb drop for asian my that's what's up shout out to asian my he said that asian my did uh did a video on close to something that you did maybe a couple of days ago and i was like what you talking about well you remember the trucker that got the ticket in Georgia because he parked on the on off ramp. Yeah. It's something similar to that. So I got it. I looked at it. We watched it. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. So can you tell me again what you said? So I can tell it to my boss. You were parked in a no parking zone. No flex. So Okay, and you said I can use my personal convenience, is what you said, right? If that's what you're supposed to do, yes, you're not to park here. So if I'm out of hours, I have to switch over the personal convenience, right? If that's what you're, if that's what you typically I mean, do. that's what you're saying to me, right? If, that's if I what run out of hours. Do, I'm telling you, I don't care if you're out of time. You should have planned better. You should have planned to take your break. You knew you were gonna have to take a break, so you should have planned to do that instead of parking in a no parking zone. No flex, so hey. Hey. they know better. Where people have wrecked here and been killed because there's people parked here in a no parking zone. And there's no limit for those guys, right? For park in the rest area. So. So let's break this video down right quick. All right, let's 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 do the video breakdown. That's that's what's up. So, female cop uh, tells the truck driver that he has to move, but I guess what the truck driver is trying to turn everything on his head by by saying, "Yo, uh, you saying I could use personal conveyance? That's what you saying." And the female driver or the female cop is over here saying, "Yeah, that I mean, if that's what you got." So let me just say this right quick. You know, we do have personal conveyance. All right. Now, the rules and regulations have changed. The FMCSA has made it a little bit easier for us to find adequate truck parking if we are out of hours. Okay. We can't just say, oh, okay, well, we're out of hours and we can't move. We can't use that clutch anymore. We, some companies, make sure if it's yours, but some companies do authorize you to use personal conveyance for situations like this. If you parked illegally, that's what she's saying. It must be some signs that says no parking. And I know for a fact that going through Georgia, a lot of those rest areas have signs like off the side of the road going into the rest area where we tend to park when the rest area is full. But unfortunately, they don't want us to park there. All right. Now, some states, it's OK. Other states, not so much. But here's my thing. If a cop comes over, I, you know, a cop, trooper, DOT, if they ask you to move, move. Stop being, stop, you know, stop being that guy. Move. That's all you got to do. You got the personal conveyance. Use that until you find somewhere where you can park. Can you tell me again what you said so I can tell it to my boss? 
okay? And you so you you do you're you're parked in a no parking zone, whether you're in a rest area or not. So wherever you park that, my G, you're you're parked illegally. You say I can use my personal convenience. Is what you said, right? Okay, so yeah, you can use it. Well, you're a truck driver, bro. You should already know that. The, the the lady officer right here didn't have to tell you that you can use personal conveyance so that you can call your boss back and and say that the, the lady the lady cop right here says uh I need you know I can use personal conveyance. Bro, you should already know that you can use personal conveyance. Now you might need to call your boss to get permission or whatever the case, but yeah. You can use personal conveyance to find adequate truck parking. If that's what you're supposed to do, yes, you're not to park here. So if I'm out of hours, I have to switch over to personal convenience, right? Yes. What? Yes, bro. Yes. Why, why, why are you making this a thing? If you're out of hours... And you need to move for whatever reason, turn over to personal convenience, make sure you jot down the reason why you're in personal convenience, use that personal convenience to move or to find adequate truck parking or whatever you need to do for. It. Then when you get to where you need where you need to be, turn off personal convenience, go back off duty and your your hours wouldn't even be messed with. If that's what you're, if that's what you typically. I mean, do. that's what you're saying to me, right? If, if I run out of hours. Do, I'm telling you, I don't care if you're out of time. You should have planned better. Now here's my <laughs> here's my thing against the lady cop. Now look, look, um, yeah, we we all could have could have would have should have planned. All right. But sometimes the best planners could be in an unfortunate situation at the end of the day. He could have been held up at the shipper. He could have been held up at the receiver. He could have been held up in traffic. Could have been an accident. Whatever the case may be, you can never plan for uh, to find where you're going to park at the end of the day now i know some of you guys is going to come in the comments and be like well that's why you call ahead that's why you call ahead and 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 figure out what truck stop you're going to be at like a pilot or a flying j you call ahead and you reserve the park yeah that's a yeah, that's a good idea that's a good idea yeah why why don't i just you know figure out at the end of the day where i'm going to be at you don't know times change places change you could be on your you could be on your way at one place and then boom might have to turn around and be on your way at another place i'm just saying so planning you know sometimes you might need to just throw that out the window you should have planned to take your break you knew you were going to have to take a break, so you should have planned to do that instead of parking in a no-parking zone where people have wrecked here and been killed because there's people parked here in a no-parking zone. And there's no limit for those guys, right, for parking in the rest area? <laughs> my G, my G, of course there's no limit for the guys that is parking in the rest area in a legitimate parking space you on the other hand are not you're 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 probably parked on the ramp i i know where you parked that bro you're you're parked on the ramp and she just she just wondering why are you giving her a hard time just because you wanted to break your camera out and get this on TikTok and put in the tagline, oh, uh, uh, I'm, I'm in a rest area and I'm being asked to move. Bro, you being asked to move because of the fact that you're parked illegally. 
that's why you're being asked to move. It's not because you're in a rest area. You technically not in the rest area. You're on the side of the on on the side of the curve going into the rest area. Maybe I'm wrong, guys. Maybe I'm wrong. Help me out here. Help me out. All right. I I, I probably might be wrong in in saying this, but look, I, I just want to say this before we get up out of here. Truck, uh, truck driver shortage that's baloney all i all i just want to know is five six seven o'clock the the truck stops and everything is all filled up man where's the truck driver shortage at it shouldn't be called a truck driver shortage it should be called truck parking shortage because it ain't none but i tell you what though i tell you what if you guys download Truckers app, the app for truckers, you can always find somewhere to park that big rig. Now, if you had Truckers Path, you could have seen that that rest area was filled. You could have seen that the next few truck stops or or parking lots like Burger King, McDonald's, because they got truck parking too. Just saying truckers path the app for truckers make sure you download truckers path today peace